Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh video in the Streamlit series. In this video, we will be looking at the media elements in Streamlit. So basically, we'll start with importing the basic stuff that is import Streamlit as ST and we have to go to the command prompt and start this Streamlit uh, file. So first, as usual, we'll go to the folder, we'll go to Streamlit and lastly, we go to the video code. Here, we will say Streamlit run and then the lecture is seven okay the first thing that we need to do is we need to open an image so i will say from pil import image and then i'm going to say image equal to uh, image dot open and we will be having the doggo image doggo.jpg as you can see on the screen right now the other way of importing the image that most people also use is cv2 so we say image equal to cv2.imread and then we are going to have doggo.jpg so obviously only one of them is going to work so first time we will let the pil work and also import cv2 so cv2 so the way we display an image is we just say st.image and then what we do is we go here and pass the various parameters so we just pass the image image and then we go and say the caption so what what do you need to be what do you need to be written below the image so let's say the doggo image is image of a dog bicycle and a truck so this is the the things these are the things that are available in the image so a dog a bicycle and a truck now what you can also do is you can also have the width so i am going to initialize it as 800 you can definitely change according to your needs and lastly we need to give the channels so generally if you're using a pil image you don't have to give the channel because the channels is by default R rgb but the things will change once you're using uh, let's say your cv2 and what you need to do is now you need to save it go over here and rerun you can see that the image is displayed over here and it says image of a dog bicycle and a truck okay so if you change the width let's say you are going to make it as uh, 400 and you go over here and then you rerun you see the image has been uh, it has become smaller okay so that is what you can do now what happens if you just comment this out and now you read the image through uh, cv2 if you go over here and then let's you know convert it back to 800 so that we can see it properly let's read on this you see the image has changed now it looks more bluish and the reason is cv2 uses the bgr format but here we are saying rgb format channels is rgb so for that what you need to do is we need to convert it from rgb to bgr here if you rerun now you're going to see that original image has now come so this is the way you use the st dot image so now let's remove the image and now let's start with our audio file so these two are very very simple we just say st.audio and then give the path to the file so i have in this folder itself audio file dot mp3 okay so if i save this and here if i uh, click rerun you can see there is an audio file that is here now i don't know whether you will be able to hear it i'll play it but if you don't if you are not able to hear it don't worry it works trust me it works So I don't know whether you were able to hear it or not. The other um, you know, other parameter that you can pass is start time. So this is basically going to be the start time of whenever you want the audio to start. So generally it will be zero, but let's say you want the audio to start from the 10th second mark. So you just say 10 and here you can see the audio started from zero. But if I now rerun, this will come directly to 10. As you can see, it came directly to 10. And if you play, okay so this is the way you handle audio video on the similar lines you just say st dot video and then you have the video file so i have dog video dot mp4 and same thing you can have a start time i'm not having it but you can have it so now you can see there is a uh, video file over here and you can play this video file and you can see the video file is playing okay you also have a start time but i'm not using here so I hope you understood the video and bye.